Hello, my name is Mrs Taylor and you usually see me in red class and sometimes in blue class. Today I'm going to read you a story called The Lazy Bear and it's one of my favourite stories. It's by Brian Wildsmith. And not only is this a story really nice, but the pictures are lovely. So have a look at the pictures as we go along. Once upon a time, there was a bear who was so kind and thoughtful that all his neighbours were his friends. There's all his neighbours. The bear liked to go for long walks and one day at the top of the hill he found a wagon. It had been left there by a woodcutter, which is a person who cuts down trees. The bear had never seen a wagon before and he walked all around it and sniffed it and at last he sat in it. To his surprise, the wagon began to move. As it rolled downhill, the bear felt rather frightened. But by the time it reached the bottom, he was enjoying the ride. He liked it so much that he pushed the wagon right back up the hill and rode down again. Time after time, he pushed the wagon up the hill and rode down at great speed. This is fun, he thought, but I don't like having to push the wagon up the hill very much. He is pushing the heavy wagon back up the hill. Every day he rode the wagon from morning to night, but the more he enjoyed the rides, the more he hated the hard work of pushing the wagon up the hill. Then he had an idea. He went to look for his friend, the raccoon. He told him all about the wagon and the wonderful rides and invited the raccoon to come and see for himself. The raccoon was naturally curious, so he went along with the bear. He was naturally curious. That means he was very keen to find out what was happening. He was inquisitive. He wanted to know what was happening. On the way, they met the deer. Come with us, said the bear, and have a ride to my wagon. The deer, who was also naturally curious, went along with the bear and the raccoon. There he is, there's the deer. On the way, they met the goat. Come with us, said the bear, and have a ride in my wagon. The goat was naturally curious, so he went along with the bear, the raccoon and the deer. There they are, all going along with the bear a look and see what he was doing too. See what he was doing. In a very short time, they were riding down the hill at wonderful speed. This is lovely, said the raccoon. This is marvellous, said the deer. Great, just great, said the goat. There they are, all sitting in the bear's wagon, having a ride down the hill. At the bottom, they all got out except the bear, who sat tight. Hey, come and help us push, cried the raccoon, the deer and the goat. What, me, said the bear? If I let you ride in my wagon, the least you can do is to push me back up the hill, don't you think? And he looked so fierce that his friends were too frightened to argue. So they all went on riding downhill and the raccoon, the deer and the goat went on pushing the bear back to the top. What shall we do? They whispered to each other. This is very tiring, but if we give up, the bear will get us. He's not his usual kind self at all. And then, when they were pushing the bear uphill for the hundredth time, the goat had an idea. Listen, he whispered urgently, I know what we bent their heads towards him and listened to the plan. The bear was busy enjoying the scenery and noticed nothing until they, he, they reached the top of the hill. Then right shouted the goat over the top with him and the wagon with the bear in it went hurtling down the other side of the hill. Can you see him? He's all hurtling down the hill. 
Hurtling means going down quickly down the other side. It's going very fast. Faster and faster sped the wagon until it crashed at the bottom. The bear was flung out head over, uh, head over heels and landed right side up in a shallow pond. He doesn't look very happy, does he? But worst of all, when he looked around, he saw all the other animals of the forest standing on the bank and laughing at him. It serves you right, they said. It was very, very unkind of you to bully your friends like that. But they helped him out of the pond and set the wagon upright for him. Now you must push the raccoon, the deer and the goat uphill, they cried. Then you will know how they felt having to push a great heavy animal like you. So the bear pushed his friend, not once, but many times. And each time he understood a little more about how badly he had behaved. At last, he said, I am truly, truly sorry for what I did and I won't ever, ever do it again. At that, the raccoon, the deer and the goat invited the bear to climb into the wagon and they all rode downhill at a glorious pace and at the bottom, they all got out and pushed the wagon back again together. So there they are, all in the wagon, having a good time because they're all friends again. That story is a bit like what we've been talking about at school, about being kind to our friends and, and, and people around us so that they also will be kind back. So that was a bit, that's what the bear found out. Even if he's kind to his friends, they were kind to him. I hope you enjoyed that story. That's one of my favourites. Okay, see you soon. Bye.